Let's dive into the world of Final Cut Pro together and explore the magic of configuring audio channels. Whether you're just starting or finding it a bit tricky, don't worry. We're here to make it easy and fun. Ready? Here we go. When you add or import an audio clip into your project, it comes with a default channel configuration. But guess what? You have the power to change it. Simply choose the clip in your timeline, then head over to the inspector at the top right. If you can't find it, no biggie, click on the icon with three sliders, and then hit the speaker icon to open the audio inspector. Quick tip, if you have headphones, grab them for the best experience, or just listen in stereo speakers. Now, let's play with some options. In the audio configuration, click on the audio channels menu and choose any option you like. For example, you can make your music clip sound like dual mono. In dual mono, you'll notice the beats in both channels. Switch to stereo, and now the beats move to the left side. Try reversed stereo, and now they're on the right. Cool, right? Let's set it back to dual mono. By the way, if you're enjoying this tutorial, why not share some good vibes? Hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know I'm on the right track and helps others find this video. Thanks a bunch. Now, let's explore audio components. Press Shift S to view and listen to a component and skim over it. Or hit the space bar to play it back. Press Shift S again to turn off audio skimming. And guess what? You can even enable or disable audio components. Just uncheck the box next to the component. Want it back? Click the checkbox again. And there you have it. You're now a pro at configuring audio channels in Final Cut Pro. But wait, there's more. It's time for you to learn how to add audio points. I'll share three cool techniques for mixing audio like a pro, and at the end, I'll show you how to bring your sounds to life with animation in Final Cut Pro. Excited? Click here to check it out.